What's going on guys, Core X Designs here and welcome to another 3D Studio Max tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a carbon fiber material using 3D Studio Max and V-Ray 2.0. Now I'm using V-Ray 2.0 but you can do this in pretty much any version of V-Ray because we are pretty much going to be using very basic techniques to do that. So here in front of you I have a sample of that uh, carbon fiber material. You can see that I have used that material in the Aventador rims that I modeled. I also have a speed model for this so if you want to go ahead and check that out the link will be in the description down below. So uh, I have this uh, carbon fiber material on these uh, these rim parts. Now be sure if you if you don't use Vera, use uh, use Mental Ray or the Scanline renderer from 3D Studio Max. You can also go ahead and hit the annotations uh, above and go to the respective tutorial. So uh, right now you can't see much much detail in in this, but I have the project file open here, and right here you can see that um, you know, we have pretty pretty cool looking. Uh, uh, carbon fiber materials so I mean it, it looks really good so the first thing you need to do basically is download the file in the description below so what that is is basically uh, oops, these textures right here so um, we have three three uh, you know tileable textures they're tileable and by tileable I mean again you know you can push them on top of each other and they won't look uh, like uh, they have been tiles okay so different uh, bitmaps used will give you a different kind of look on your on your carbon fiber finish one so in this in this particular project they use this one which is carbon fiber underscore angle 2 uh, but you can get all three of these using the link in the description below or you can go ahead and make your own if you want to but uh, yeah this one's pretty much easy so back into 3d city max I'm gonna hit M to bring up my material editor and on a new material slot, I'm going to go ahead and create a new view material. Okay, I'm going to click on this button next to diffuse, and I'm going to choose bitmap. And let's go ahead and uh, choose one of these carbon fiber materials. So, uh, if you choose, uh, if you if you take this one, you actually get quite a lot of contrast, and this actually looks good on particular models. But for some models, you might not need that much contrast, or you might need some more detail on that uh, on that carbon fiber. Well, that only depend that all depends on. Uh, on which one you use. Okay, so basically you can use any one of those, but uh, it, it actually depends on your model which one you want to use. So I'm just going to choose this one and hit open. And I'm going to click on this one called Show Shaded Map in Viewport. And what I'll do is I'll really quickly select all three, all of these uh, parts and I'll apply this material onto those and I'll replace them. Okay, so right away you can't see anything, but the the way the way you do this is click uh, click on this uh, show shaded map in viewport and that way you can you see that there is, there's kind of some change in color but you can't actually see the carbon fiber material <coughs> and the reason for that is be, be, because uh, when you when you model something you usually don't use UV, UVW maps coordinates uh, when you model this so in order to make to view this you'll need to select any one of these uh, segments and you will apply a modifier called UVW map and it's also somewhere inside here. Okay, so now you can see that uh, we can see some of our uh, of our uh, mod uh, of our texture right there. So you don't need to you know delve deep into this UVW map. Uh, it's going to be pretty much set for you to work with. So I'm just going to real quick apply that UVW map modifier to all five of these uh, rim parts. Okay, so right now it doesn't look quite like uh, a cool looking carbon fiber, and the way you make it look better is by increasing the tiling. So if you go ahead and increase the tiling even more on both of these axes, you will get to see that uh, it actually looks pretty cool. So I, I usually do uh, you know 15 by 20, and uh, actually looks pretty good uh, with with those with those tiling parameters right there. But you can also go ahead and play with those, and it just goes it depends on what you want to use. So what you can do is go ahead and give this somewhat of a reflection, and uh, that's really going to help us uh, to make this look even better. But make sure you hit frontal reflections and uh, yeah so one more thing you can do to really make this even better is apply a bump map to this and that will really do good for close up so for example right now you don't really need a bump map because we won't be doing very uh, close up renders of this of this uh, part here but if you want to do close up renders you might you might notice that it looks very flat uh, right there so the way you fix that is just go ahead and apply, click on this, uh, click and drag this actually from the diffuse to the bump and hit copy, hit OK and that should be it. Just take this, this take the uh, bump from 30 to 40 to 100 whichever works best, best for you and you should be good to go. So yeah this was pretty easy to do actually and this is pretty much it. 
So what we can do basically now is go ahead and um, change the uh, uh, the bitmap that we load so that you know that gives it kind of like a different effect. So if we go ahead and change this to the carbon anisotropic. You can see that the overall effect is changed drastically. You know, it it all, it actually depends because on this particular model, I actually need a lot of contrast on that carbon fiber so that we can see uh, see it a lot better. But it actually uh, overall depends on how what what your model is and all that stuff. So I'm just going to be using this carbon angle two uh, perfectly. Uh, I think this is the best. I mean, this looks the best on this particular model. So yeah, this guys is going to be pretty much it. with a very short tutorial on how to do that. Hope you guys liked it. If you do, go ahead and hit the like button down below, favorite the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. And uh, yeah, have a nice day.